We've got Alex Jones on the phone right now talking about what's flying around in Austin. Alex? I'm going to come back from break and, and, and break this down. But, but as you know, I took off today uh, to spend time with my family. And I was going to the sporting goods store uh, downtown to, to take my son fishing on Town Lake. And I look up at a Boeing E-4B. Um, doomsday plane, as they're known, all white, was flying at the same level as the tallest building downtown that's 56 stories, uh, the, um, the mm. tallest building in Austin. And I was I was watching this giant E-4B, or a plane very similar to it, but I've seen the, the, the doomsday plane on television before on 9-11 circling uh, over the Pentagon, and Anderson Cooper covered that. And I'm looking at this E4B, and then I and I'm driving. So I'm, I'm I, you know, obviously wasn't going to just start trying to hold the camera and take shots of it. Thank God it was buzzing the office so low that I'm told we have three different camera angles of it. So by next hour, we're going to have that raw footage off the digital cards and uploaded to YouTube, and we'll put a clip from CNN of Anderson Cooper identifying it as the E4B, and then showing our E4B, but. Uh, the Austonian is the tallest building in Austin, and it's a, it's more than 50 stories. It's 55, 56, I'm going from memory. I'm sitting there driving downtown, and I cannot describe what this is like. I almost made me run off the road, but I'm going 20 miles an hour in traffic. And I look up. Well, we'll go to break, and I'll come back. This is unbelievable. It's like Absolutely. out of a movie. There's a giant airplane. No exaggeration. Wow. Maybe 500 yards from running into the Austonian. I think it's 9-11. I actually have an adrenaline rush and think this is about to fly into a building. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. But actually, Alex is on the line with some important breaking news right here out of Austin about giant military drones. Alex, tell us about it. Completely blown away right now. And I called Rob Dude and he said, Oh, we know we've got three camera crews outside in South Austin. It is flying a thousand feet over the building. Wow. Okay, so, so, and I thought, Wow, well, well, let me just explain this. <laughs> it looks like an E4B. And it's white like an E-4B. A Boeing E-4B is a gigantic aircraft. Uh, it, it, they own, there's reportedly six of them. And it is an aircraft only that's brought out during doomsday scenarios. That's not my quote. The Pentagon calls it the doomsday plane. Uh, Anderson Cooper calls it the doomsday plane. They have one over New York and one over Washington on video during 9-11. There it is again. There it is again. Oh, my. It's higher now. It's now at about 5,000 feet. I can't. This is like a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, I'm taking off a few days. I got family in town. My son wants to go fishing, uh, and we need some more lures. So I'm downtown. He wants to go fishing on Town Lake. He wants to go kayaking. He can go rent kayaks. So he's out with the family. I go, I'm going to go get some lures <laughs> at the local downtown sporting goods store. I go over there. We live outside town, so it's like a vacation for us to go into town. So we're, we're vacationing the next few days in downtown Austin. Okay, so imagine I'm driving downtown by the Austonian, and I, I literally had, like, flashbacks to 9-11. I look up, and there's the biggest plane I've ever seen, because you're seeing it in person, at the level of the Austonian. This is going to be a national news story, folks. We've got to get our team to race our video out. I guarantee you the phones are ringing off the hook at all the local TV stations on this. I look up, and it didn't register at first that there was a plane so big, because it was like a maybe, maybe 1,500 feet off the ground. This is totally illegal for, for, for a Cessna to fly like this downtown. It's right. cold airspace. Right. I look up, and 
my dad's a pilot. I know about this stuff, you know, basic stuff. I look up, and I obviously have my cell phone, but I'm driving downtown, so it's out of my sight in, like, five seconds. I look up, and it's, you know, but it's not even on that path. Huge plane, but it disappears behind more buildings. So then I drive you know, a little bit to the edge of town to go to the sporting goods store. By the way, I didn't even do that. I pulled over. I'm sitting here in a parking lot, hyperventilating. This is like 15 minutes ago now. You know, calling my reporters, going, "This sounds crazy." There's a giant E4B flying. I mean, in circles around downtown at the level of a 55, 56-story building, the Austonian, and the biggest. I mean, it was level. So now I'm on the edge of downtown, the cluster of buildings, sitting here at the, at the sporting goods store, looking at it, and now it's at about 5,000 feet circling out at North Austin, and it did two circles by the building. But you'd wonder, like, it would go by, because it it's in such tight circles. There it is again. Like, yeah. Now it's off at, at, at even higher, off at a distance. Oh, my God, there's more military aircraft. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, oh, there's helicopters. So I call the office. He goes, is this what your car is talking about, about helicopters, too? And people are calling the office, and there's helicopters. There's, there's now green C-130s. I think I should probably even get off the air and try to videotape this. And a giant E-4B, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, was like a 1,000 feet, not above, off to the side, away from running in to skyscrapers in Austin, Texas, and then you guys say you have it at like 1,000 to 1,500 right over the deck in South Austin where you're at. This there it is. is. There's some pictures of it right now up on, um, if anybody's watching, right there you oh. can see it. If you're watching our video feed, you can see pictures of the plane that we've taken. Looks like okay, an air, so it looks like an airliner. It's huge. It's, it's, it's giant. But, but the one I saw is white. Is it white? Yes. Yes, it's white. Yeah, yeah, I'm now seeing aircraft that looks like at 5,000 feet, right above the tree line, uh, green C-130s, and I just saw, I don't even want to say this on air, it looks like some type of stealth helicopter. Man, this country is in trouble. Yep, That's absolutely. I tell you, we're getting all these calls about helicopters and military and tanks on the streets and troops, and, and I, I think this is some type of invasion. There's... There's no markings on it that we can see. We've got a pretty good video shot of it here that's being played on the video feed, and there's no markings that we can see. Let me throw this out at people. It all just click. Oh. Remember okay. when Homeland Security did a drill and said it was classified and terrorized New Yorkers two years ago? Mm -hmm. It flew a, a, a military jumbo jet through the middle of downtown. Yeah. Guys, search engine that. New Yorkers scared by Homeland Security uh, plane drill. And yeah. they wouldn't say what it was about. And it was a way to re-invoke 9-11 it came out and to test the public. It's all clicking right now. They are buzzing, or they were buzzing. Now they're off further away. Now when I see them, they're very small. They are buzzing South Austin, North Austin, and downtown. It did at least two circles. And I guarantee you, people are tweeting this. There's video. I bet this will be on the news within the hour on News 8 Austin. Okay, if anybody's doubting me, this, this will be on the news when a gigantor uh, Boeing yeah. uh, uh, aircraft, uh, E-4B, Alex. Is, is Yes. We have we have Edwin Vieira joining us on the third hour, and I just wanted to read you something about what he talks about, modern state terrorism. He says, most recently, the theme has shifted to the utterly discordant note that Americans must fear their own government, most of all, but that they can do nothing about its ever more abusive inroads into their remaining freedoms because with all of the political, economic, and military power at its disposal, the government cannot be effectively opposed no matter what excesses it may commit. Don't you think this is really kind of a uh, in-your-face psyops? There is no doubt. See, as I'm sitting here trying to absorb all this, because, again, I was terrorized. I looked up and saw a huge white plane where you know, I could see the bottom you know, metal rivets glinting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like, imagine you're driving along to go by fishing gear, like, oh, crap, we forgot, uh, you know, catfish bait. Uh, my son wants to fish for that in the river, and I'm just do 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 you know, uh, d d driving, and all of a sudden, it's this huge plane, and then it comes back, and I'm just, my adrenals are completely shot right now, and then I just remembered New York, 
where they did it as a psyop two, three years ago. Have you guys found that yet? Yeah, we've got the article up there right now. It was, uh, the headline is, uh, White House apologizes for Air Force flyover. So it's conducted without any notification of the public. Can you guys scroll it up a little bit? And, and yeah. they used big passenger jets. I believe they may have even used an A4B. The point is, this is a psyop. The military doing this, you're absolutely right. It is to condition us that their God, they yeah. always built big government buildings, so you feel small. You know, they wear the black uniforms. They admit to intimidate. And now it's just get used to helicopters. Get used to, listen, I saw some weird-looking helicopter flying around. Uh, and I was looking at it probably three, four miles away, so I just saw it over the tree line. It's like War of the Worlds or something. I mean, right. it, it, well, and, it's... It's like that quote I read earlier from Edwin Vieira, and, and he continues on to say, it has the advantage for the government of bringing in discussion to concordance with the true meaning of words like the definition of terrorism. He says, uh, it's really government by intimidation, and the psychotic nature of the national debate being foisted upon us, namely, that at least according to the elitists and their touts, America's only defense against terrorism is to acquiesce into the worst sort of terrorism. But listen, it's, 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 and it's a explicit threat not even thinly veiled, they go, yeah, it isn't for Al-Qaeda. We run them. Yeah. Homeland Security for gun owners, libertarians, returning veterans, That's right. patriots. And, and now they, they say it's for us. And here's the key to all of this. We should get the ACDC song, Walk All Over You, mm -hmm. because, or, or the Nancy Sinatra, these boots are going to walk all over you, because they're walking all over us. This was so dangerous. Yes. There's no reason to have a Gigantor E4B literally flying right through the buildings. I mean, I'm saying right by him at the same level as the Austonian. And then I drove away and thought, that was insane. I was shocked. Like, what is this? And then I'm looking from the edge of town right now, and it's flying at the level, was flying. It came back and was flying, I'm talking thousands of yards maximum. I mean, maybe, maybe 3,000 uh, 3, feet, maybe 1,000 yards. And I'm not saying even above it. It was flying by it. I cannot describe to you. And then it came back and did. It's like first they terrorized with a really close match. Then mm -hmm. it was a little higher. And then a little higher. So people then go, oh, okay, it, it, it wasn't that bad. So they probably even had news cameras out to catch it when it was even higher to run the side off and say, oh, we were, we were 1,500 feet above the buildings. It's safe. Right. I'm telling you. Right. I'm telling you, I'm trying to gauge because the same thing was in New York. It flew through the buildings mm -hmm. to buzz people, terrorizing them. This is meant as a psyop to re-invoke 9-11. And that's why we're getting the calls from around the country. They're probably doing this in Chicago and L.A. and Miami right now. I know enemy operations, folks. This is to psyop us. David Knight, what do you think they're getting us ready for? More of the same. I think it's going to be another false flag. You know, there was just, we had an article uh, that we, uh, actually a video that we showed uh, just this last weekend. They had a lot of helicopters landing in Charlotte, and a fellow was filming them there, and the military officer came over and said, you need to leave because it's not safe here. Well, you know, it's not safe there because they're conducting military operations on public areas. And he said, I have a right to they film you. That, they use that. It's, oh, it's your safety we're coming to your house. Right, before. right we've got Russian troops here. And by the way, I need to probably come back. And, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I don't know what to do at this point. I mean, you know, I, I need to respond to the Russia. The national Russian media came out and, and, and they're the ones that said they were going to be overseeing events here. And FEMA said, well, they've always been doing it for 17 years, but they won't be physically, you know, doing stuff to Americans. Again, it's all part of the acclimation. That's right. It's all part of the acclimation uh, at this point. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. 
And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our Info Warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. We've got Alex on the line with some breaking news about low flyovers of a Boeing E-4B, what apparently is a Boeing E-4B. It's the size of a, um, looks like a commercial airliner flying at heights that are below the levels of the buildings in Austin. And Alex is uh, out of the office and he's got an eyewitness report on that. We've also got some footage that was captured because they're circling all around Austin at the moment. Alex? and you guys were already on it because it was flying right over the office. And I just want to explain, now that I've had time, this is developing, to really think about this. They are doing this all over the country with helicopters and jets and even B-2 bombers and B-1 bombers, mainly B-1 bombers, uh, flying low and at high speeds, low and at slower speeds, through the buildings. Mm -hmm. And this, what appeared to be an E-4B, you guys have the clear footage of it, so compare it to that, you can confirm if it's an E-4B and then tell Watson, who's writing the article right now, does it appear to be an E-4B uh, as it looked to me to my eye, uh, David Knight? 
Well, I don't know what an E4B looks like. I need to see some footage All comparing it to it, but we've got some really clear search. footage. All you do is search E4B Boeing, E4B Doomsday Plane, and then compare it to the aircraft. I believe it's an E4B. Yeah, the crew says that the crew has done that, and they say it is an E4B. They have done okay. the search, okay. and they say it is. White, the only white E4Bs are Doomsday Planes. There is no reason for this. This is to run shadow government. And now it just clicked. They flew. The plane flew from the east, the first pass, over, over me in downtown, literally. And I, I can handle a lot of stuff, folks. This was, I look up at a giant aircraft at the level of the tallest building going through downtown. It turned and went over the Capitol. It went north over the Capitol, turned. I almost ran off the road trying to get a shot of it, I'll be honest with people. Uh, and then I pulled back and just pretty much shaken by adrenaline, drove uh, more to the west to the sporting goods store. And before I even got there, it was like, there it is again. By the time I popped, I was unable to see it circle at a higher level above the city. And then saw C-130s, other white aircraft out over what looked like north of Austin or north Austin. And then a, a weird, shiny, I just can't even believe this, stealth helicopter is what it looked like, like a thing that uh, reportedly in the stupid fake Bin Laden raid looked similar to that. I mean, this is bizarro. And I'll guarantee you, Austinites have seen this, have tweeted this. We need to get that for confirmation because the national media, if we're the only ones that report, will say this didn't happen. So, A, we need to put out the raw footage first in a video as soon as they can. Dump it out the best close footage you've got from the office. At the end of it, so people know it's an E4B, show a Wikipedia of an E4B, mm -hmm. then show Anderson Cooper for 10 seconds just saying, you know, above, above the Pentagon, E4B doomsday plane from 9-11, so people understand what it is. That's the report. Put it out on our YouTube. Air it next hour. At the end of the show, we should have it done. Or you can go into overdrive so Evan Vieira can comment on it. And then I think Paul Watson, uh, other great writers are wonderful as well, but I watch listening. He can really turn stuff out. Uh, our ace reporter over there, I know, is listening. Show how it's a replay of the, of the Homeland Security order in the Air Force for the large passenger jet to buzz New York a few years ago. What was that, two years ago? I believe so. So, so send that to Watson or, or give that headline uh, out for him and explain that even New Yorkers later said they think it was a psyop. It's meant to re-invoke 9-11. And, and literally, I was just terrorized, folks. If you've not been, and I'm hardly ever downtown, maybe once every two weeks, but I've never gone and vacation for a couple days downtown. You know, because I live in the country outside Austin, so it's like country mouse comes into the city mouse. I mean, I, by the grace of God, I was in the middle of this to experience what it's like to look up, and I'm talking, you know, at the level of the tallest building, whatever, however tall 56 stories is, it was at that level. I mean, I saw the full bottom with all its jet engines, and I was like, I thought I was, I thought it was about to fly into buildings. And this is unbelievable abuse of the American people. Absolutely. And unbelievable abuse of Texas. And I want the Texas legislature and Rick Perry. I want, I want Obama told. Remember they threatened F-16s? They shoot down uh, any aircraft that flew in here if, if we get the TSA out of Texas? That's right. I am being terrorized by the New World Order. We're all being terrorized. I'm going to hand the show back over to you, but I want these reports out quickly. Watson, you get your report out. Send Watson still shots off our video. To have it, tell people video coming. Still shots that you can to Watson right now. Hit them up, tweet them out on the real Alex James. Hit our blur about, and I'm sure the uh, old powerful brush will get it up. But this is big news, guys. Hammer it out right now, okay? Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. Pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. We've got Alex on the line here, but just before we go to him, I want to remind you that eFoods Direct 
has a special that is effective through July the 10th. It's buy three, get one free, plus free shipping. And that's only until July 10th. That's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633. We've got Alex on the line because we've got an incident developing here in Austin, Texas. We've got some footage of a Boeing E-4B that is making low flyovers, circling low flyovers over Austin. And Alex was actually downtown, saw it flying at building level. And uh, he's giving us his commentary on it. Alex, are you there? Absolutely. I was so flustered by this happening now about 30 minutes ago, and it was still ongoing just a few minutes ago to a lesser extent. And I guess they're, they're buzzing the entire city in quadrants, <coughs> uh, including uh, downtown. Uh, but I, I was so flustered, I didn't remember that I've got great audio Skype now on my iPhone. So does this sound better, David Knight? Sounds much better. Okay, let me give people a clear, concise report, because I know how they'll spin this. They'll say, oh, we apologize. It was just a military flight. Don't worry about it. Look, this was consciously played out. This was done in New York City a few years ago and was big national news and terrorized people. And everybody's been terrorized with the images a million times, literally a million times. Hundreds of thousands of times we have been hammered with the images of the planes flying into the towers. And, and this isn't just some regular Air Force aircraft or Homeland Security. This is the doomsday E-4B that they've got five or six of. Some estimates are five, some are six. It's very classified. But they admit that this carries the shadow government and that this aircraft can also be flown by remote control if the whole government's knocked out. They reportedly got them parked in other countries and they can take off. So for all we know, it's a giant drone. This is the shadow government flying NORAD, flying Cheyenne Mountain, flying Mount Weather, Site R. Well, this has got NSA clicking right now. <clears throat> the shadow government aircraft came within thousands of feet of smashing into Austin buildings. So, and again, this will just be put out like it's no big deal. Just like they admit, this is admitted that they have urban warfare drills all over the country to acclimate the public, and they admit Brigade Homeland, and you know what? Alex Jones was right 17 years ago, 18 years ago, they say. We are gonna use military on the streets. Army Times reports it. We are training the Boy Scouts to, quote, fight terrorists and more. New York Times training them, this was four years ago, they're now 18, to, quote, kill veterans and take their guns. New York Times, folks, New York Times. You know, now I had cops calling and going, yeah, I don't wanna work with the Russians, but I guess if they tell us to, you know, this is, and then I have the Russian government respond and go, well, we are, this is FEMA. We have signed a deal to help you at your events. And then FEMA goes, well, for 17 years we've already done it. Like it's okay, they're now admitting it. <clears throat> I mean, understand Infowars.com and Drudge Report magnifying, you know, the power of 10, what we put out with the Russian news and, and, and this occupation is now really upsetting the globalist. And I don't know what the deal is with this happening in Austin completely, but I know the feds have told Texas in the legislature two years ago, they said, if you pass a law saying the TSA can't grab your genitals, we will do an Air Force blockade with F-16s. This was USA Today, folks. Look it up. And we will shoot down commercial airliners that try to enter Texas. This is this how That's the right. Civil War started, when they wouldn't let the South use its ports. So, so this is blockades, like we're Syria or something, or, or like we're Iran. Well, if they want to do a blockade of Iran, that'd be an act of war. We are blockaded. They've already terrorized New York. They're terrorizing cities all over the country where thousands of troops land and run around with live fire and they try to film it. They arrest you. This is a PSYOP. This is a big deal. Absolutely. Again, I'm driving downtown and directly over me, imagine, at, I don't know, 1,000, 1,500 feet. I mean, it was at the level of buildings. I look up and full view. This is like when you go park at the end of the airport. I'm sure everybody's done this when you were in high school, take your girlfriend, park at the end of the airport. Back in the old days where the cops would, would harass you, there'd be <laughs> 10 cars out there, you know, at the airport, everybody's, you know, in the back seat or whatever, and jets are flying over. This is like that when you're at the end of the runway and the jet takes off and it's like that, you know, when you see the wheels going up. But this was 
maybe twice as high as that, or if you park further back from the airport, 1,000, 1,500, whatever, however high that building is, because, again, it came back after I'd gotten out from the buildings, and I saw it fly at the level. And, David, this was so over the top, I could not believe my eyes. I called Dew, and I go, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> There's an E-4B buzzing downtown like they buzz the deck of an aircraft carrier, you know, these hot shots. Right. I said, this is, this is not some crazy guy in an F-18 doing this who's going to get court-martialed. This is the shadow government, New World Order command base, literally just buzzed me an hour ago now, 45 minutes ago, and literally, was if they would have made one error... You would have had a new 9-11, ladies and gentlemen, in Austin, Texas, with a shadow government E-4B literally devastated. And this thing was so big. You know, the World Trade Centers were so giant, the planes looked small. Our buildings are tall, 40, 50, 55 stories, but they're not, they're not wide. This thing was bigger, bigger than the, than the tallest building in Austin, wider. You know, I mean, not overall bigger, but, but when, when I watched it the, the, the second time, when, when, you know, again, when it wasn't right over me, I'd driven a few minutes. It was, I saw it go back through the buildings, right above the buildings. So, Alex, is the, behind them. is the yeah. E-4B, is it bigger than a commercial airliner? How does it compare in yeah, size? It's, it, it, it's gigantic, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's bigger than a 777, which I just flew in from, from back from England. It's, it's, it's bigger. It's got more engines. It's got bigger wings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fast, it's like a modern super B-52, basically. Wow. Wow. I mean, it is just gigantic. And, 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 and so, again, you guys are in South Austin. I haven't seen the photos you're showing people on TV right now, you know, radio listeners. Right. All I'm saying is as fast as you can, get the images up. Get a blurb out. I bet Watson's already done it. And, and have we sent Watson still shots of this yet? Because I want to look at it. They're working on it. I, I think they've been in contact with uh, Watson. I think he's got what he needs. Yeah, yeah, all you do is you put the video up on screen and the Apple, you just do screenshots and then send him that. Okay. I mean, right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm sure they've done it. They all know. I've got, yeah. hell, I've got like 10 video people. I'm sure it's been oh, yeah. done. Yeah, dude's listening. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, I need my team to be feeding Watson everything right now. But, but I just wanted to put this out before they put it on KXAN and News 8 and go, there was kind of a scare today, but it was just Homeland Security doing tests. You know, just we're going to, you know, have black helicopters come out of town and blow up a school at the end of town. It's no big deal. You're a kook if you don't like it. We're going to have troops do live fire in your streets. We're going to land an Apache helicopter at your local <laughs> school. They've done that in Austin. I've, I've got photos of it. This is just ongoing, just getting us used to the shadow government doing whatever it wants. Absolutely. I, and I, I think that the whole, uh, I think the NSA leaking that's been done uh, via Ed Snowden, I, I, you know, not necessarily saying that he's a part of it, but this is a guy that's worked for them for a long time. They know what his psychological profile is. They know if they give him opportunity to put this stuff out there, he will. I think what we've had revealed there is really a uh, psychological operation. It's an intimidation to put that out there to get us accustomed to it. Yeah, it's like, you know what, we are watching you. Yeah, and there's and nothing you can do is, about it. And this man's a criminal that told you, and what Snowden's really in trouble for is saying it's wrong. Yeah. They'll all brag and admit they're listening to us. They'll have articles where the Army's going, yeah, we got a model of the world, everything you do is in it. Every, you know, they had the New York Times back in 2001 uh, on the Inf Total Information Awareness Network. And it was an article uh, interviewing General Poindexter, the felon. And he goes, yeah, we're watching and listening to every phone call you make. Exactly. They're just throwing it in our face and now buzzing us with the shadow government. Again, this is not just an Air Force jumbo jet or, 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 or galaxy buzzing Austin. This is the shadow government. Look, look Pen, uh, DHS, uh, Pentagon, here's the headline. Pentagon doomsday jet buzzes de uh, Austin skyscrapers. I mean, this is unprecedented and then i saw c-130s out north of austin and a weird high-tech gleaming helicopter like it, it, it looked like hi this is, this is bizarre i mean i don't know what they're doing <laughs> overall i mean why would they have other green c-130s and then a weird helicopter i mean what what's that david knight just well and, it and, is and again it is just before the fourth of july you know they don't want the slaves to get any kind of uh, uppity notions about uh, independence or freedom or anything like that we got to remember who the boss is right 
Well, they're now saying they're watching everyone buying fireworks. See, everything's mm -hmm. terror, mm -hmm. except the real terrorists, the foreign banks that have hijacked America, and they're just going to condition us and condition us and condition us and condition us. Hey, have the, have the guys told you that, yes, they've sent Watson screenshots? Yes, they said they're in contact with Watson. They're in contact with him, or have they screenshotted him? Guys, have you sent screenshots to Watson? Um. Um, they're checking. Yes, they have. They said. Yes, they have. Okay, good. Because uh, everybody's doing a great job, but this is big enough where maybe I should just come in there. I mean, I'm already here, mm -hmm. you know, via audio. It's just that I don't think I can go back to to not working now that I saw this happen. I mean, look, right. again, take the best shots we've got of it buzzing the office, uh, and Dude was saying it looked like about a thousand, fifteen hundred feet. Uh, I talked to Jakari. He said the same thing. He said this was just amazing. And let's just quick clips, just different shots of it above the office. Right. Explain in the article that the InfoWars office is about, what is it, seven miles from downtown. So we're out south. And, and explain in the article, Watson, because I know he's listening. It looks like the timeline is it first flew around South Austin, did circles. Then it flew around downtown and did circles. Then it moved to northeast and did circles. And then it moved to central north and did circles. And then I saw it again uh, just a few minutes ago over the tree line, way far off, but at a higher level, but like 5,000, 6,000 feet, doing circles over northwest Austin. So it's going around buzzing everywhere in Austin. But you can say, okay, they flew at 1,500 feet above houses. That's, that's still weird. Why is the doomsday plane doing that? Again, the, the, the criminal, criminal, Criminal action. It's you know we we had a Fourth of July seven years ago at my wife's parents and they live close to downtown by Lake Austin and they had a B1 bomber and it was in the newspaper it was going to do it that that came from an Air Force base in West Texas where they've got them I think they just retired them finally uh, bat winged you know swept wing aircraft mm -hmm. it came in came in slow with its wings out turned up the river put its wings back and hit the afterburners and flew up the Colorado where it totally, and it's meant with ground radar to, you know, with the ground scanning radar to be able to do that. And it flew at about, I don't know, 800, 1,000 feet down the river and disappeared. It flew in slow, turned over the city at about 3,000 feet, very safe flight pattern, turned around, everybody cheered. Well, I think we just lost Alex there. It's absolutely amazing when you stop and think about the fact that, as he mentioned, it started out in South Austin, which is not too far from the commercial airline, uh, the airport here. To think that they've got a, a large plane that's larger than a commercial airliner just flying looping circles at a very low altitude for whatever their purpose is, whether it's a photo op or whether it's a, uh, an intimidation op, we don't really know. But it's pretty irresponsible that the government would do something like that. But it's pretty irresponsible everything that they're doing. You know, this is not anything new, actually. This is just starting to come out, what's happening with these uh, different things. There's an article that we've got on Infowars.com. High-level U.S. government officials have warned for 40 years that mass surveillance would lead to tyranny in America. And uh, there's some interesting quotes on there, but and we'll get right back to those. But we've got Alex back on the line. Alex, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, my wife called up uh, I, uh, asking where I'm at and why I'm not fishing with the children. <laughs> and then it made the uh, it, it made this new incredible Skype system called Lucy that that works even better than a normal Skype. Uh, just to put a plug in for them, they're not a sponsor, but this is a really phenomenal system. If I put a better microphone on here, it'd be, it'd be like I was in studio. She called, so it cut out. My point is, they brought a B-1 bomber in. It swept over the river far away from, you know, downtown and then turned on its afterburners and shot down the Colorado in a safe manner. This was the this was the the doomsday craft or something identical to it, a big white E4B. Literally, listen, when it came back around the second time it was a little bit higher, but then it turned and went lower through an opening buildings and buzzed the Capitol. Right. I mean, this is right. again. I know I keep ranting about this. This is unprecedented psyop. Because if we'll put up with this, David, and all the urban warfare drills, and you know, and and, and I've had troops come up at drills and say, you know, turn your cameras off. Heaven, mm -hmm. Maryland, California, you name it. 
Uh, it goes on and on. This is a giant psyop. There is no doubt. And I'll bet my bottom dollar they're going to start doing this in cities all over the country. Oh, yeah? And I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that and let you take over and finish up. But great job to the amazing crew at InfoWars.com. And great job to the listeners and the, our sponsors and our supporters. Please go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Everybody needs to be prepared. Everybody needs to get the, you know, buy three, get one free and free shipping. They've never offered a deal that good. And again, they've extended it to the 10th of July. Please get the new magazine that says America has been occupied by globalist forces. Infowars.com. Ten bumper stickers. Six medium size. Four uh, big, big ones. Let's get aggressive. We've been occupied. Look, if they can occupy us and train us to accept this, and, and in America, a guy films police 60 yards away, so they come over with MP5 hecklers and shoot his dog right. after they have arrested right. him. I mean, they can do anything. We are occupied. They're ordering the police and military to occupy us. Most police have woken up because of this. The military's waking up. But they're still are just they're getting rid of those guys and bringing in crazies. We are one giant Fallujah now. This is a PSYOP. The government says the number one enemy is the American people. It's not our government. Please support Infowars.com. Please support PrisonPlanet.com. Please, this 4th of July, go to events and talk about the New World Order occupation. Go out with picket signs and say America's been occupied by the New World Order. Why do they say we're the enemy? Because we're the real Americans that know about the occupation. You're living in a real, slow-motion, red-dawn globalist takeover. They know that we know how to resist them when they kill us and occupy us hard in a hot war. That's why they use a cold war. They're killing us with soft kill. They're killing us softly. We are in a new world order takeover. It's all real. As crazy as this sounds, it's real. And they want to acclimate you and you in, in a position of learned helplessness where you just accept this so they can bring us down, so they can destroy us and just have it no big deal that secret government black op command planes fly in between skyscrapers in Austin, Texas, totally illegally. If, if a normal pilot did this, you'd be arrested. It, it, folks, the, this is so illegal, so criminal, and they're just setting the precedent that they can violate state sovereignty and violate safety and crash their black helicopters into buildings in Houston like they've done with Delta Force dying. Only Soldier of Fortune reported on that 15 years ago. This is ongoing, broad daylight psyops as the New World Order basically harasses Austin, Texas. This is disgusting, so please support us and support our sponsors and, and just you, you just spread the word. God bless you, David Knight. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.